What's up YouTube, it's your boy Hercolex back again with another video and we got something pretty cool today. We got us an egg in the avatar state and it glows in the dark. Oh my God. No. Target exclusive. And I'm super excited to open this up. Who is not an, who is not an avatar fan? Like literally who is not? It's one of the best um shows created it's almost an anime it's not i they, they call it a cartoon but i mean i feel like it's an anime but without further ado let's get straight into it all right guys let's get straight into it okay so this is a big dog I, i'm almost sure this is like six inches tall or it could be a little bit bigger. I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, I'm not sure, but man, this looks so sweet. It glows in the dark, like I said before, and it's a Target exclusive. Okay, okay. Let's check out the side. This box is huge. You guys see how big my hands are? It's like, yeah, man, this is huge. Okay, so we got Suki, we got Tali, we got Admiral we got Fire Lord Ozai looking all sweet with his flames. And then we got Aang and the Avatar say Super. So I'm guessing this uh, this size box is called a Super. That's what I'm assuming. Oh, man, this looks so sick. All right, let's just, man, let's crack this boy open, y'all. Enough, enough. I picked this up at my local, I don't know what to call it. It's like a little trade fair, I guess. And I got it for $30 and I felt pretty lit about it. It's glow in the dark. And I'd never see them ever at Target, so. Man, this is, I consider myself lucky. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, snap, yo. Oh, man, can we just take the freaking time to appreciate this real quick, y'all? Okay, I just wanna talk about a few things here, like the detail on him as well. And I'm going to have to sit here and say, I think there is an immense amount of detail on him. I love when he was in this fight. This is probably one of the best fights I've ever watched on a cartoon show. He is up against Fire Lord Ozai. This is when Aang mastered all five, uh, I can almost at five. When he mastered all four elements and he was ready to fight Fire Lord Ozai, you know, uh, Sozin's Comet was the day off and Fire Lord Ozai had an immense amount of fire power, like a boost to his power. And like, man, this is just so iconic. Cause when Aang, what happened? I believe Aang got hit. Yeah, I believe Fire Lord Ozai hit him in the back and it triggered his avatar state. And it made him, you know, go into the avatar state and he ended up mastering all four of the elements. Well, he already had mastered them. The only one I'm a little iffy on is fire. I didn't do my research on it if he mastered it, but I know he was, you know, he was able to use it and he was pretty good at it. Zuko, his teacher was teaching him that. And man, this is just, let me just turn this on really quick, you guys, so you guys can see. This is just amazing, you guys. We have him, it almost looks like, not even almost, it came with a stand to keep it propped up so he can, you know, balance all around. But if you guys look right over here, his feet, he's levitating. And that's because, you know, he's an airbender and he learned how to, you know what I'm saying, keep himself in the air. And oh my goodness, I just noticed on his back, he has a hole in it from when he got hit from by Azula with the lightning. How amazing, like how amazing the detail for this thing. Oh man, this is just one of, man, this is such a sweet pop. Um, like I said, this is the glow in the dark. To be honest with you guys, if it is cheaper to get the regular one without the big glow in the dark, I suggest you do it because... Like I said, in the test we just saw, there is no glow in the dark. And, and if it is, it's very subtle so much you, you won't even notice it. But like I said before, definitely grab this pop. It is a must grab, I believe. And I really like this one. It looks like he has something on his foot as well, like a hole in his foot. And I don't know the reason for that. I don't remember anyways. I'm trying to think. I don't remember him ever having a hole in his foot. Huh. But man, this is so sick. You know, we got our boy with the tats, the airbender, first element as air. 
and man this, this show has been such a crazy journey just him i definitely think he's the best avatar um that we've seen in action i don't know avatar roku was pretty amazing i'm not gonna lie he was he was pretty good he was you know what i'm saying i don't see anybody really topping him and did his best and he learned from his teachers but on the other hand Korra severed the link between you know all her past selves and just messed a lot of things up i really am not a big fan of Korra. i love legend of Korra though it was a really good show i don't think it's better than you know at uh, the last airbender but it's really cool what they did. I like that they, you know, continued things and aged a lot of people and made the new Avatar uh, a water tribe girl. So it was very different. I liked it a lot, but uh, let's get straight into price versus rarity. I don't believe this is very rare. Uh, this edition I got is glow in the dark, like I said before, and it's, you know, not worth it. So I wouldn't say this is so much rare. I think it's a must grab though, definitely must grab. And if I'm going to rate this pop, man, I don't I don't know what I would have asked. I don't know if I would have asked for anything other like than this. Like you have all four elements of Saronica. Like what more could you ask for to make this pop even better? That's the you know the question. So I definitely think they did a wonderful job with this pop. I'm gonna give this thing a freaking 10 out of 10. Like honestly, 10 out of 10 for this one. This is an amazing pop. Funko, you guys did your thing with this one. And yeah. Okay, so I just wanna take the time really quickly and uh, speak on a couple of things. This is so sick. I have my light under it right now um, on the spinner table. It's projecting up and he just looks so freaking cool, you guys. He has the element of fire around him. He has earth around him. He has water. And I believe, which I hope so, which is pretty awesome, this globe like all around him is the air. And I just think that is the freaking coolest thing I've ever seen, you guys. Like this is just so sick. To top it all off, it glows in the dark as well. Okay, glow in the dark, I'm gonna have to give it um, not so much. I mean, I think the air on his head is what really glows. It's supposed to anyways. And I believe the water, I could be wrong, but I believe the water should be glowing right now and then the air on his head and maybe his eyes. But it's not really doing too much, you guys. As you guys can see, we'll get a better look. If you guys like this video, shoot your boy a like, comment down below who is your favorite character from The Last Airbender or The Legend of Korra. We'll be reviewing that one very soonly. Uh, not soonly. <laughs> I have Legend of Korra though, so I'm going to be doing it pretty soon. And man, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please shoot your boy a subscribe and you guys have a wonderful day. Catch you guys in the next video.